Hey guys, it's Randy Orton Fan 2011. I'm back again with the third race of 24 in Season 1 of the NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series. Guys, we are in Sin City today. We are in Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's right, get place your bets out everyone, because we're in for one hell of a ride. Now let's check out the starting lineup for today's race. In the front row, we got the 5 Alexander Jones and the 48 of Christopher Martin. Right behind them in row 2 are their teammates, the 61 of Aaron Williams and the 88 of Rachel Williams. Row 3 has the 24 of Seth Cole and the 81 of Luke Schaefer. Row 4 has the 26 of Andrea Jimenez and the 39 of Red Bell. Running out the top 10 are the 31 of Trevor Thompson and the 43 of Dylan Poteet. Row 6 has the 1 of Matthew McMurray and the 12 of Connor Breton. The 7th row has the 99 of Austin LaPlante and the 17 of Ashley Young. Row 8 has the 8 of Trent Dunham and the 94 of Dougie Shears. Row 9 has the 83 of Sam and Austin and the 10 of Ryan Cooper. In row 10, we have the 18 of Justin Perry and the 33 of Courtney Wilson. In the 11th row, we have the 06 of Don LaPrade and the 11 of Luke Walker. In the 12th row, we have the 56 of Nicole Sanchez and the 19 of Matthew Rodriguez. Row 13 has the 42 of Jake Bashinger and the 25 of Jake Cole. Row 14 has the double zero of Ryan Juke and the nine of Charles Jackson. Continuing to row 15, we have the 29 of Joshua Perry and the 16 of Dylan Young. The 16th row has the 91 of Adam Chambers and the 07 of Trey Campbell. The 17th row has the 60 of Alex Filter and the 77 of Lisa Shears. The 18th row has the 84 of Alex Tanker and the 44 of Jacob Rodriguez. The 19th row has the 37 of the my bad. The 19th row has the 20 of Tim Feigl and the 72 of Lyndon Wright. Back in row 20 we have the 6 of Pete London and the 14 of Alexander Dawson. And finally, starting, starting shotgun are the two of Jack Richards and the four of Robert Band. And guys, Sin City is on their feet. We are ready for those famous words in motorsports. Driver, start your engine. This race will be approximately 40.5 miles long as this is a 27 lap race. We're in a one and a half mile trial. And looks like we are just about set and ready for our third race to Sin City 400. Guys, place your bets because you might, you might just get a huge payday in the end. And as they come off turn four, pace car hits pit road. And Alexander Jones will lead the field to the green flag. And the green flag is in the air, and we are ready. The third race of the NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series is underway. Here comes the 61 of Aaron Williams being pushed by his teammate, Seth Cole, in the 24. These look, to, they're side by side. They're side by side. They're trying. Williams going to try and take the lead away. Coming off turn four. And it looks like Aaron Williams will lead the first lap. He will get one bonus point. Now we got the 26 of Andrea Jimenez in the mix. And she looks like she's going to try and rebound from all those. Wait, wait, we got caution. We got caution. We got caution. It might happen earlier behind us. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Oh, we got a few cars in pit. We got a few cars in the pit road. Yeah, this happened. This happened 
This happened like right at the start finish line, I can tell. This happened right at the start finish line. It happened a little farther ahead. Oh, I think um those guys right there, um No wait, no wait. I'm gonna try and go back for a moment. Well, we see here that the 81 of the 81 of Luke Schaefer and the 39 of Red Bell get together, and then Red Bell's boyfriend, the 8 of Trent Dunham, gets along with them. And somehow they work together to spin on my roommate. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, I mean, I know you, I know Red Bell and Trent Dunham work together, but that's just uncalled for. That's just uncalled for spinning on my own roommate. Just uncalled for. I'm sorry, Trent. I'm sorry, Red, but oh, oh my God, a hard hit right there, right behind, right behind them. Let's let's get let's get what happened. Oh, the 06 of Don LaPrade gets a piece, and then the 56 of Nicole Sanchez just runs into the 81 of Luke Schaefer. Ouch. And then the 19 of Matthew Rodriguez, he get he's in the mix. The 42 of Jake Baskinger gets a piece. Ooh, the nine of uh. The nine of Charles Jackson gets into the wall hard. And mm, I think think the 91 of Adam Chambers, he barely got out of that one. Just a huge wreck right at the start of the race. And I'm hoping that we don't get the same wreck fest that we got from Phoenix. Because I mean that's just that just wouldn't be good. So right away in our third race of the season, we get another early wreck. Though not close to the big one, it is another early wreck. So let's hope we can actually have another clean lap this time. As we see, the, if you check out our top five, it's the 61 of Aaron Williams, the 26 of Andrea Jimenez, the 24 of Seth Cole, the 5 of Alexander Jones, and the 1 of Matthew McMurray round out the top five. Pace car hits pit road. And lap six is our restart lap as we get back to racing green flag. Williams into turn three, leads the field. 24 Seth Cole trying to take second away from Jimenez. He's not going to get there just yet, but we'll see. Williams leads that lap. That will be his sixth lap led. Oh, well, before I forget, this is an odd. This since the, since the amount of laps that we are running is odd, I will consider lap 13 as the halfway point. As I, I just want to get the halfway point early to make sure that I know who leads who leads that lap. So lap 13 will be the halfway point from my point of view at this point in this race. Williams leads yet another lap, and we looks like we got another caution. Looks like we got another caution. Yep, another caution's out. Another caution's out. Let's see. Uh, we can try remember. Trying to figure out what happened here. As the caution came out. That was on the restart. That's when the caution that's before the caution came out. Okay, now we can probably get a good uh, view from what happened. You see here, we can get a good view. Oh, oh, look out, look here, look here, yep. Yep, the 19 of Matthew Rodriguez gets turned. Oh, and he collects the 4 of Robert Ban along with him. That's got to hurt. And then I think someone else kind of got into the wall there a little bit. Two cars went around. 
Wait, I'm going backwards. Yeah, there, there's the wreck that got them. Then the 14 of Alexander Dawson slips up the racetrack and he collects the 6 of Pichu London. And another, another wreck. Another wreck early in this race. So, so two huge wrecks right at the start. And it looks like the cars that I that I uh, have described earlier, the 81, the 06, the 56, the 07, and 44, and the 20, they are back on the racetrack. So, so they will be um, they will be a couple laps down, according to this chart. But we will have to see what happens from there, as we are the yellow flags out for yet another caution. So as we get back to green flag racing here on lap 12, we scan back through the nut through the top five is the same top five that we had from the last we start the starting from fifth, the one of Matthew McMurray, the five of Alexander Jones, the 24 of Seth Cole, the 26 of Andrea Jimenez, and the 61 of Aaron Williams. That is your top five from fifth to first. And the pace car is back on pit road. And yet another restart is ready on lap 12. Green flag back out in the air. And now this time we're going to take the action from the rear. It looks like these cars that were the six of Pichu one and the nineteen of Matthew Rodriguez. Who those are the two? Those are the two cars involved in that earlier wreck. Looks like they're a bit off the pace at this point. And oh, we got three wide. They're three wide. And we complete. A finally, finally, we get a clean lap underway. Look at the rest of the field. Oh, they're three wide. They're three wide off turn two. No caution yet. And the yeah, Trent Dunham, he's going to try. Oh, oh, look out, look out. Oh, there they go, there they go. There they go. And another caution is out. Damn. Another big wreck. Alright, um... That hap it happened right around here. Let's see... Let's see what caused it. Oh, the 43. It's the 43. It's the 43. He, um... The 43 gets gets loose, and then he collects the one of Matthew McMurray and the 39 Red Bull. Oh my God! Look at look at the one of McMurray. He just slides up that wall, and looks like oh, looks like parts of the back of the pack also gets a piece, also get a piece of it. They just they can't. They're they're unable to uh, avoid the wreck. See as the Red Bull just gets stops on the track. Oh my God! Let's see that again. Again, our glimpse at it from slow mo. Well, the 94 Dougie Shears barely misses it. Oh my God! Head on. Justin Perry goes head on right into the 39 Red Bell. And then the 6 of Alex Filter gets a piece of it. The 91 of Adam Chambers, the 84 of Alex Tanker, and the 14 of Alexander Dawson all get caught up in it. We had one clean lap, finally, and then the wreck. Just a huge wreck fest. Again, I don't know why. But we're having yet another wreck fest after those three big wrecks. Pace car is back in. Let's hope for a clean race, clean 10 lap shootout to the finish. Aaron Williams leads the field. The Pepsi cars actually lead the field, and that's good news for our sponsor. Green flag back in the air. It's 
scan through the field. We'll see if any trouble's brewing. Oh, we got some smoke. Oh, caution, caution again, caution again. And just like that, another caution happens. Looks like the two of, oh, looks like the two of Jack Richards got a piece. The 11 of Luke Walker, the 91 of Adam Chambers also got a piece of it. And another caution brings it out. This brings out our fourth yellow flag of the race. Let's try and see what happens here. As the, uh, as they go into turn three. Two of Jack Richards. Um, yeah, he, um, he gets, he clears the 25J Cole and then Cole just gets a big run and then, and then turns right into, a. Uh, and then turns right into the two of Jack Richards and then just nowhere to go for the 11 of Luke Walker. Ouch. A huge hit there. And then a bunch of other cars. No, I don't I don't think the, the uh, no, 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 there he is. There it is. I didn't think Adam Chambers was able to get through that, but looks like he um, just gets clipped by the two car. So our fourth caution of the day, the 72 of Lyndon Wright, he's out in the grass. He's going to be off the pace a little bit. So that brings up our fourth caution of the day. And I, I'm, I'm not sure if I can, I'm not sure what's going to happen now. I know the cars are, are fairly safe with, with this, but like, somehow we got, we got to get something going on. Alright, so before we go on the restart, let me just give you an update on who is still in the race. Well, we'll start with those who are out of the race. It's the 20 of Tim Feigl, the 44 of Jacob Rodriguez, the 07 of, of Trey Campbell, the 56 of Nicole Sanchez, the 06 of Don LaPrade, the 81 of Luke Schaefer, the 4 of Robert Band, the 14 of Alexander Dawson, the 1 of Matthew McMurray, the 84 of Alex Tanker, the 9 of... Charles Jackson, the 39 of Red Bell, the 18 of Justin Perry, and the 11 of Luke Walker are, cur are all currently out of the race. And the 28 cars that are remaining on the track at this point, they are all on the lead lap. Case by heads return three and four. We have, let's go through our top five. From 5th through 1st, the 48 Christopher Martin, the 26 of Andrea Jimenez, the 5 Alexander Jones, the 24 of Seth Cole, and the 61 Aaron Williams. 400 cars currently occupying the top five. Pace car hits pit lane, and we are set to go green one more time. Five laps to go. And by now, if you haven't known, Aaron Williams had did lead at the halfway point, so he will get those extra bonus points. And by now he has already earned that extra bonus point for leading the most laps. But, but that lead could change in just a matter of moments. Here comes the 24 Seth Cole down to the inside. He's gonna try and take the lead away. He's got help from the five Alexander Jones. Or maybe not, maybe not. Jones to the inside, she's gonna try and take the lead away. Williams off the lead for the first time this in this race. And the five of Alexander Jones leads her first lap. And no, nothing, no, no trouble yet. And the 61 Aaron Williams, he's going to go back to the inside. He's going to try and he's going to go for the lead. Three laps to go. Still so many cars with a chance to win. 
But remember, it's not over till it's over. Just like they say in Vegas, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And races doesn't, it's, when it's over, it's over. Or should I say, it's not over till it's over. And Alexander Jones looking for her second win, second consecutive win in this series. Two to go. She's holding a good lead at this point, but the 61 of Aaron Williams is hot on her tail. He wants that lead. Boy, the 61 of Aaron Williams, he's hot on his, on his girlfriend's tail, but Jones is going to be able to hold him off as he comes to the white flag. One to go. Don't count anyone else out of this one yet, folks. It's still anyone's race at this point. And as they come into turns three and four, Williams, I don't think he's going to have a shot. He probably won't. And the five Alexander Jones is going to win for the second consecutive race. Unbelievable. The five Alexander Jones wins for the second consecutive race. She was not she was not leading. She was not leading until about four laps to go. Incredible. Just incredible and it's official. Alexander Jones beats her boyfriend. I guess I guess in this relationship Alex wears the pants. A great one, and to round out the rest of the field, a great run by Aaron Williams, finishing second, led the most laps, led the halfway point, he's going to get a bunch of bonus points. Chris Martin, a huge improvement from last race, he finishes, he gets a podium finish, and also a huge improvement for Andrea Jimenez after finishing in the bottom ten, the last two race, the first two races, she gets a top five, also LaPlante, he gets his first top five of the season, 88 of Rachel Williams, she will finish sixth. A great run by Connor Breton, finishing 7th. Nice run by Ron Cooper in the 10, finishing 8th. Another decent top 10 by Courtney Wilson, finishing 9th. And the 8 of Trent Dunham rounds out the top 10. Now, as we go through 11 through 20th, we have the 24 of Seth Cole, the 17 of Ashley Young, the double zero of Ryan Juke, the 31 of Trevor Thompson, the 16 of Dylan Young, the 94 of Dougie Shears, the 25 of Jake Cole, the 29 of Joshua Perry, the 83 of Sam Adoskin, and the 77 of Lisa Shears. That is your top 20. And let us go through the rest of the field. And then the remaining guys who will finish on the lead lap are the, tw or the 42 of Jake Baskinger, the 60 of Alex Filter, the 72 of Lyndon Wright, the 6 of Pichu London, the 43 of Dylan Poteet, the 91 of Adam Chambers, and the 19 of Matthew Rodriguez. They all finish on the lead lap. Jack Richards is the only other car that finished the race, but he finished a lap down. And it looks like 14 cars will get DNFs. It looks like 14 cars will get DNFs for this race. To start from 29 through 42nd. It's the 11 of Luke Walker, the 18 of Justin Perry, the 39 of Red Ball, the 9 of Charles Jackson, the 84 of Alex Tanker, the 1 of Matthew McMurray, the 14 of Alexander Dawson, the 4 of Robert Band, the 81 of Luke Schaefer after those after a first after winning the Daytona 500 and a second in Phoenix, Luke Schaefer ends up with a DNF. That's uh, that's unexplainable. The uh, then we go through the bottom five, the 06 of Don LaPrade, the 56 of Nicole Sanchez. The 07 of Trey Campbell, the 44 of Jacob Rodriguez after two great top 10 runs in the first two races, gets a DNF, and finally the 20 of Tim Feigl rounds out the field. I can probably say another another big wreck fest, to say the least, but, but at least we were able to have a clean finish at the end. At least we were able to have a clean finish at the end without, without a wreck. And... And hats off to Alexander Jones. She she proved that in the re, in in the relationship between Alex and Aaron, she wears the pants in that relationship. And that is it for that is it for our race coverage. Be sure to stay tuned. If you want to stay tuned to our series, please subscribe. Uh, our next race is the Market Street 500. That is at Bristol Motor Speedway. 
And this is a, this is going to be a very important race because in the standings that you will see later on, the top 30 in that race will automatically be entered in that race. The bottom 12 must go against the relief drivers who are who are who are waiting in the ring, who are waiting in the wings, ready to race. So I will give so in another separate video I will give I will give the 12 drivers who have qualified for the Market Street 500 and then they will be entered into the race itself and they will get their chance to shine for the first time this season. So the relief drivers that is your message for um for this season so I will put you in a qualifying session with those who are in the bottom 12 in points and that ends our coverage for the day. I am Kevin, your NASCAR Pepsi Cup Series League Administrator. Be sure to stay tuned to our series. Always remember to subscribe. And make sure if you if you got any comment, if you got anything to say, make sure you leave feedback. I'm always open to any feedback you guys are willing to show me. And that's it guys. I'm out. See you at Bristol.